You're going to make pizza sauce first, okay? Do not buy the canned pizza sauce. That is the nastiest stuff ever. It's got like full of sugar and, and garbage and it doesn't taste fresh. Okay, you're gonna wanna go as fresh as possible. There will be some dry ingredients used, but you go with some whole tomatoes and you're gonna blend those up. So let's do that right now. So I'm gonna take my little VAT 19 five in one uh, can opener and I'm gonna use that to open the can. Pretty cool. It's so easy. I don't even bother walking across the kitchen to the electric one because this spins. It doesn't even feel like it's cutting. It's the craziest thing, but it does. Then you take the little mouth here and I got a VAT19 uh, can opener video too. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? No sharp edges. It's done. Bam. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to carefully pour about half this in here. There you go. Get some more liquid in there. Okay. Now you guys probably recognize this. This is my Ninja Blender. I'm going to get that on. Find out how it goes. There we go. Come on, get on there. Half the can. Okay, put the other half in. Okay, now you can see here I've got rosemary, thyme, basil leaf, and oregano, all my greens. I'm gonna put them right in here too. Then I'm gonna take some wet garlic. Don't be afraid of the garlic, guys. There you go, you can never have enough garlic. Get the top of the Ninja Blender on there. You incorporate all your seasonings right into the mix. You see that? That's amazing. Take the blades out carefully. Tap them good. You don't want the seasoning sticking to the blades. Pour the new mix in there with all your spices. You're going to put this on the stove. You're going to cook it down thicker than spaghetti sauce. So be patient. Keep it on low flame, keep stirring it, and you're gonna get it nice and thick. It's gonna be your perfect pizza sauce. Now, if you go to the deli, you can ask for uh, them to shred your mozzarella cheese for you. It's in the refrigerator right now. I always keep my cheese in the fridge till the last moment. I don't wanna start melting here in the kitchen from the heat of the oven and all that. So have your deli grated up, or you can do it yourself. It's always better than to buy the pre-grated stuff. And you're also going to cut your own pepperoni. So get a pepperoni stick and you're going to slice your own pepperoni. You're going to do your onions and your bell peppers. So let me prepare all this and then we'll uh, get ready to check on that sauce. Some of you may like rings of onions. Some of you may like it just in bits and pieces. Uh, some like it thin, some like it thick. Cut it how you like it. It's your pizza. Now bell peppers are usually... They're done in rings. Once again, you want them diced, go for it. Now me, I like to be organized. I like everything ready to go. I just dig on that. It's so much easier. Since I'm already panicked over this pizza dough, this is, excites me. I got my pepperoni, look at those, some thick ones, some thin pieces. Got my onions, my bell peppers, and I'm even gonna cut up some garlic cloves. Slice some garlic cloves and put that on top of pizza. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let me go check on my uh, sauce. As you can see, our, our pizza sauce come along just fine. See all that steam? That's what you want. You simmer this thing all the way down, take all the water out of it and get it down to a thicker consistency. It's almost ready and it's just a few more minutes. Okay, it's nice and thick. Taking about 30% of it down. I'm gonna pour it now carefully into this. Just gonna let it cool down. It'll even thicken a little bit more as it cools. So before I, uh, I got a little olive oil in my bowl here. Before I start putting my stuff on, I'm just gonna kind of brush on some olive oil onto the crust. 
Okay, you're probably asking me why am I putting on toppings first? I don't want the sauce on the crust. I don't want a soggy crust. I want a crispy crust. So I am going to lay down my, some of my vegetables first. And remember with a pizza, I know you guys think, oh, I want to pile it on, but you know what? I've learned over the years that less is more. So start off with a little bit, then go to your, go to your other toppings. And then take a look and see how it looks for you. But I got to tell you, growing up in a house where we piled everything on, it's kind of nice to just taste. You get the flavors of the olive oil and the crust and all that. I always complain, never enough topping. But you know what? Sometimes that's the best part. Just simple, easy pizza. I have my sauce here. I'm just going to drizzle. I'm not going to coat it all. I'm not going to spread it around kind of like they do in the pizza parlor. I'm just gonna allow it to fall where it may. Don't want it too saturated. Now, by the way, now's a good time to go turn your oven on. Get it preheated before you're finished topping this. You can do barbecue chicken pizza this way. You can do anything you want. I'm just choosing to do these toppings. That is a made from scratch pizza. The last thing you're gonna discuss about this pizza is how long do you put it in the oven? What temperature? I saw everything from 450 degrees to 500 degrees to 14 minutes to three minutes. It was crazy. Everybody had different times. And you know what? It is different. You're gonna eyeball your pizza. Obviously all the toppings need to be sizzling, cheese melted, and you wanna see the crust becoming a golden brown along the edge. Now that the cheese is on there, you also wanna, I'm gonna take little chunks of garlic and just lightly place them on top. I want that garlic to be kind of roasting when it comes out, so I didn't want it under everything. I want it as cooked as possible. Here we go, into the oven. Oh my goodness. No way, does that look like a pizza? Does that look like a real pizza to you? Look at that. You could see everything. Some of the stuff started pushing through. I pulled it out just in time. You could see some of the cheese was starting to get a little dark in the center. But look at that. That is amazing. Look at the crust. Can you hear it? Wow. Very cool. And it even came up. A, is it even? It's not even stuck. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Not even stuck to the pan. Boom. This is a real pizza. Look at this. This looks like it's store bought. Wow. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how beautiful this looks. Look at that. Come on. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. The crust is perfect. The toppings are beautiful. I did it. That's right. I did it. Something I've always been afraid to do, never wanted to work with dough, it came out good. Wasn't too bad either. So one down and a whole bunch of things that scare me to go. So be looking for more in this series, things that scare Jack. Oh my goodness. Ooh, big chunk of garlic right on top. Mmm. 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 Wow, that is so good. I'm just staring at it because I can't believe I made this. I know they make pizza every day, hundreds and hundreds of millions of pizzas, but, uh, but I did it. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Bye-bye. When my crust is golden ground, golden ground. <laughs> there you go. Put it back on there. Whoops, <laughs> hold on. Try it again, Jack, moron.